a little late on this upload, but it's finally confirmed. The Black Ops saga continues with Black Ops 6. The teasers kickstarted yesterday. The confirmations and reveals continue today. We're breaking down all you missed and what you need to know in this one. So do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video, and make sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 6 coverage. I would love to have in the community as we chase down 600,000 subscribers. But for now, let's get into it. So first and foremost, no need to build up to it, but instead we'll work backwards. Black Ops 6 is official. Logos, website, key arts, it's all out there now and it's confirmed. Black Ops 6 sounds a little weird to say given that we've gone Black Ops 1, 2, 3, 4, Cold War, and 6, but I do love that we're getting back to that simple numbering. Black Ops Cold War was quite the mouthful, but given that that project was picked up by Treyarch late, Call of Duty Cold War was likely already that given name for that Sledgehammer and Raven joint project that turned into Black Ops Cold War. But anyways, six it is. Now, we're likely going to get more teasers in the coming days and weeks, but for the most part, nothing major I would imagine is going to be revealed officially. Leaked is a different story, but revealed officially, I'm not really expecting much to go through until June 9th, as it was confirmed by the Xbox crew that that Direct that was teased a couple of weeks back, immediately following the Xbox showcase, that that is indeed the Black Ops 6 Direct. Stating GG to all who guessed it, don't miss the Xbox game showcase, followed by Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Direct on Sunday, June 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Okay, so that's really all we can decipher from it. That's all we really know, right? Wrong. Between the webpage set up for the game already, relatively bare, but some details hidden, the key art images that have popped up, and the Truth Lies promotional material that started yesterday, we've learned a few more details about this game. One of the key and major things is genuinely just highlighted the word golf in the backing of the newly established Black Ops 6 website. Golf War was rumored to be the name for ages of Black Ops 6, but again, as we know, that's not the case. That setting, however, still very well could be correct. Below that, we see what appears to be 91, as in perhaps the year 91, which would coincide with the Gulf War. But we also see further numbering blurred out, which could be historical context. Again, more years, perhaps could be something like pieces of coordinates. No details on that. On that same backing image, we also see a profile of either a new or returning character. If it's a returning character, it seems like it could be one Russell Adler, as mentioned explicitly by name. And the rest of that just boils down to reports of what mentions the pinnacle of an elite Black Ops soldier. So, okay, 90s, Adler, Black Ops 6, right on. Sounds pretty good. Another theory that seems to be confirmed is the partnership between Raven and Treyarch in some capacity. Now, we'll touch on in a second what I kind of think that is based off of prior rumors. But both Treyarch and Raven have acknowledged that they are working together directly, saying Black Ops 6 confirmed. Tune into the Xbox Game Showcase on June 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific time to see what we've been cooking up with at Raven Software. And oppositely, Raven tweeted, our team is super proud to be partnering with at Treyarch on the next Call of Duty chapter, Black Ops 6. Tune in on June 9th. Now, it's not out of the ordinary for game studios working on the franchise to hype each new announcement up, but the terminology used in direct linking is what's key to this here. At most, subsidiary studios will likely retweet announcements as Beanox has, for example, for Black Ops 6, while most of the time, their pages will be entirely dark, like Infinity Wards is. It's really just degrees of involvement, from nothing acknowledged to a retweet or a post to a straight up, we're partnering with Treyarch, we're partnering with Raven in that capacity. Now, if the rumors and leaks are to be believed, Raven's involvement includes the campaign and narrative of this game, which is cool, but maybe not for some people. I mean, it's understood that Raven would have been handling the campaign on that game that they were previously working on with Sledgehammer before Treyarch came in, and then that became Cold War again. We've talked about this whole theory that I have that that's why we didn't see the original cast members for Woods and Mason, because they were last second additions to make it a Black Ops game, not just a Cold War game, but different story for a different day. But again, it'd be understood that Raven would be handling that on a game they were already working on. But I'm sure there's some people out there that would maybe like to see the Treyarch style Black Ops narrative come out again. Though, to be fair, I really do think that Raven nailed Black Ops Cold War's campaign and the multiple story outcomes included in it. That was much more Black Ops felt, I thought, than the story told through specialists and such with Black Ops 4 and the Black Ops 3 campaign. So I truly don't mind, and I'm actually looking forward to what's next here. But if those rumors do come true as well, that'll potentially be massive for the game offering as a whole. We've mentioned it before, but the biggest part about COD games is kind of the stretching dev teams thin when it comes to the offering. I mean, COD is so big now that it almost has to appeal to a little bit of everything for everyone. And there's so many different interests in the franchise as a whole that one team doing that, even with three years of dev time is a ton of work and honestly, frankly, too much work. We've mentioned how the last full window of development 
three years by Infinity Ward on Modern Warfare 2 seemed like a ton of time to get a game ready, but you also got to consider they were working on developing campaign, multiplayer, spec ops, raids, DMZ, and Warzone for their launch on top of building that COD HQ, which independent of how you feel on all of that kind of stuff, that's just a ton of stuff for one team to do, again, even with three years of support. Now, if this partnership is as rumored, Raven handling the campaign leaves only multiplayer and zombies as the core offering for what's on Treyarch's plate. They weren't doing anything crazy to overhauls like the COD HQ, like Modern Warfare 2 introduced. They weren't doing an extraction based game modes like DMZ, just simply a campaign, multiplayer and zombies. And again, if that campaign is handed over to another party, that means a new rumored four years of development on just simply two priority modes of multiplayer and zombies, which does indeed give me some hope for the amount of content and for the depth of said content. And actually perfectly timed as of recording this, it's now been reported that Black Ops 6 has apparently been in the playtesting phases for over two years now, which is a good sign. For those unfamiliar with how dev works, obviously you play test stuff from the very beginning and you try and get that build as ready as possible, but playtesting it truly is something that usually indicates a degree of completion, but then coming back to polish, to add more things in. So that's a good sign. We haven't heard that kind of stuff happen for even say Modern Warfare 2, which was previously the longest development of any Call of Duty title. And the final bits of all this Black Ops 6 stuff come down to the puzzles and the ARG items, real life and media teasers. Yesterday, we saw three little videos posted on the new website, thetruthlies.com, where you can still follow along with that as it goes, because not everything is revealed on that just yet, but it was just initial pre-reveal marketing that happened with crews defacing monuments, not actually, but like digitally appearing to deface monuments around the US with the truth lies and other things like that that are still going on as of recording this. So not sure what all of this will amount to. Again, we already got that logo reveal, that name reveal. So I kind of thought that's what all of this would lead up to. I'm not expecting any sort of reveal trailer until the June 9th direct, but I mean, we'll see what happens here with us. But anyways, here we are long road ahead of us, but we've got a lot of things to look forward to, in my opinion, at least further teasers. If anything noteworthy, we'll of course have you covered here on the channel with them. Then into the Black Ops direct on June 9th, where we'll see likely a bit of everything, a reveal trailer. Absolutely. Maybe a campaign mission. If this is its own direct and breakdown, otherwise, like why have a showcase for just simply a trailer? Maybe we see teasers of multiplayer or zombies, maybe a teaser of Verdansk returning for Warzone, all that potentially upcoming in just a few weeks here. But beyond that, we'll of course have things to look forward to later in the summer. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an alpha. We, of course, we know we're going to have a multiplayer reveal and a beta at some point. And then finally, maybe some even early access periods earlier than what we're used to for things like campaign and zombies leading up to October and the launch of the game. But we're finally here. Black Ops 6 is official and it's coming this year, breaking up that two years of Modern Warfare support. But I think that is where we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this year? Looking forward to Black Ops 6 and what Treyarch has cooking up, whatever the case, let me know. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 6 and everything COD going forward. I would love to have you in the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.